Thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, this is Susie here from Playway Studios. Uh, would you mind uh, just um, turning on your videos and recording this call? Uh, I need this uh, as a proof for my uh, grant submission. So let me share the screen and take you. Okay. Okay, can you all see my screen? Daniel, can this? Yeah, we can see it. Yep. Okay, you can see the PowerPoint, right? Okay. Okay, yeah. So uh, this is about uh, Hazmat Suit, the pro one of the projects that we are developing under the LTAG grant. Um, this was a grant that was awarded to us uh, somewhere um, end of last year. Uh, it, it kind of we signed or signed the document, signed the agreement only uh, in Jan this year. So the duration for this uh, entire development is about 12 months. And now they've extended a little bit because of the COVID situation until March. So uh, the idea here is uh, we will be developing about 10 learning objectives uh, for various different um, uh, hospitals within uh, Singh Health Group. So one of that project is Hazmat Suit, which we are doing for Singh Health with Dr. Juliana. So we have been working with Dr. Juliana for almost nine months, uh, 11 months now. And uh, we have come up with a very interesting game on hazmat suit. So what was one part of the, the development? Okay, in under the learning uh, technology and adoption grant, we have two phases. One is the seed grant and the scale up phase. So we also have um, a phase where uh, we need to evaluate the games that we are uh, developing under this project uh, that is uh, tested with the actual users or you know the, the users who are going to play these games eventually. So we have uh, reached that phase now. This is the first evaluation. We will have two evaluations in this game uh, during this project process and this is the first evaluation and uh, the, so yeah and I'm glad you all are here to help us to do this evaluation. So we need a minimum, minimum of at least 10 users. And I think we've gathered here about eight users and I'm sure we'll have more. So the idea uh, here is uh, we are recording this call and we will be uploading this video on YouTube so as a reference uh, for future for all the users who are going to log in in the future and who cannot attend this uh, particular meeting. Yeah, so this is about Hazmat. Okay, under Hazmat, uh, I have my colleagues with me, uh, Daniel, uh, Candice. Candice is the script writer and also the pro project coordinator. I have Ryan. Ryan is the game designer. Uh, same with uh, Daniel is also the game designer. So we, this, this project is quite huge. We have about seven um, games uh, with some mini games or smaller games. We call it as gamelets uh, within this project. So we have developed about three games at this phase for um, evaluation purpose. So we'll do the evaluation and based on all your requirement, we will further develop uh, more games. That is we, total, we will try to complete about seven games uh, in this project. So, oh, I am not, okay. So the basic ad uh, agenda, would, the agenda would be just uh, to introduce um, an introduction to LTAG, which I've already done. And we'll be saying what, what kind of games we developed under HAZMAT and what is the software we used and how we are going to play these games. So we have used our in-house software called 3D Hive. So I'll give you a small introduction on how to install this. And uh, later after this call today, we, uh, we will be sending out uh, emails to all of you with the installation guide and all other requirements for this evaluation. Basically, you will be playing the three games that we have developed for Hazmat and you will uh, fill the evaluation form. This is a Google form. I'll share the link with you. So you'll fill the Google form um, for, uh, and there are about uh, 15 to 16 questions and an open-ended question at the end. So you'll require um, to answer all the questions. Uh, it's very simple. And it's basically about your experience in how do you feel about the game. So the, yeah, I'll come to that when I come to the evaluation form. And we also have a microsite or a dashboard which will uh, basically capture all your gameplay data. So after this call, I will be giving individual credentials to, to log in and play the game and 
give your feedback in the evaluation form. So that's the complete evaluation process. Yeah. <clears throat> so just to give a background of the pro uh, project. Yeah, Candice, would you like to take on this and could you just give a brief um, description of the project? Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, okay, so the whole, I'm just going to keep this brief. Uh, the entire game actually uh, is made up of seven smaller, what we like to call gamelets. Uh, each one will uh, actually address a certain part of the uh, decontamination procedure from the from activation and deployment uh, to the donning and doffing of the suit, um, and then on to several practical skill stations. Um, yeah, so uh, as Susie has already mentioned, we've been working closely with uh, Dr. Juliana on this, and uh, we hope it's uh, it's a good game for you all to experience. Yeah. So the idea is to find, I mean, uh, we need to know uh, based on the evaluation uh, feedback, we, we need to um, analyze that whether we have achieved the objectives of this project. That's also one of the outcome of this uh, uh, evaluation. So these are the project team, uh, our director, creative director is Siddharth and this is myself, program or project manager. And Candice, the learning designer, we have uh, level designers, Ryan and Ka Daniel, both are there with us today. And we have our artists, Alex and George, and we have tech support, uh, Raghav and Nachi, and we also have QC from Shailesh, Ryan, Candice and myself. So this is a project team that's been working in this project. Yeah, just a small credit to all of the, the project team because we've been working <laughs> really hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is our software 3D Hive Mobi. I won't go uh, in detail on this project, uh, on the software itself, because uh, let, let, we will directly show you how the software is and how we have developed the game. Yeah, so Ryan, can you, can you share your screen and show the first login screen, please? Yep, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, can you enable screen sharing? Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, let me share my screen. Yeah. Okay. So, can you all see my screen? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, log in. So, this is the first uh, page you'll see when you open up the 3D Hive Mobi app. You'll be asked to input a username and password. Um, these are credentials that we'll be providing with providing to you. But for now, I'll just uh, log in using the credential of test. Sorry, test one at hazmat and a password. And once you log in, it will authenticate the user, and you'll be able to see uh, all the games that you can play when you log into your credentials. So the one we're talking about, the hazmat games, you can see it in that little icon there. So when you click on it, you'll be taken to the, uh, to the page that shows all of the games that you can play in the Hazmat series of games. So when you click on one of these, you'll have to, when you click on one of the icons, you'll need to hit the download button. And when you do that, it will actually uh, download the game. Uh, but I've already downloaded uh, Gamelet 2, which is the one that we'll uh, demonstrate for you in a bit. Okay, uh, we won't be uh, going through all the games in detail. We'll just demonstrate uh, various uh, features and functionalities of how to play the game and how to escape and you know delete and play and game. Because we want you to play all the three games and give your feedback. So we won't run through the game completely. Just a little glimpses of uh, how to play the game. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So if when, it's, when the game is downloaded, all you have to do is hit the play button and it will take you into the game. So usually we start off our games with, um, with a little slideshow. So this is like a slide that says uh, the title and stuff like that. So whenever you see one of these, you just want to tap to continue. So again, we see a small GIF over here that introduces. When in doubt, just uh, tap to continue. Or in this case, if you're playing on PC, uh, click to continue. So the same thing will apply for introductory dialogues as well. So you'll notice here that we have two characters who are actually uh, talking to each other. So during these uh, little dialogue sequences, it's like the slideshows. So you just click or tap to continue. Uh, you click on the dialogue box itself 
and you will progress through the dialog boxes in this way. So we'll just continue a little bit through these dialogues. And this is another uh, character intro slide that we have. Again, just click to continue. So at some points in the game, you'll be given like choices, like dialogue choices. So over here, the player will actually have uh, several dialogue options to choose from. It's like to sort of test you for on what the correct answer is. So depending on what the correct answer is, you select the appropriate one. So we, we usually make it such that the wrong ones will actually show wrong feedback. So if you choose the wrong answer, for instance, it will just give you some quick wrong feedback. And then you can try the dialogue sequence again to input the correct answer. And when you select it, you'll progress further into the game. So we'll go ahead and do that. So here we have more dialogue. We'll just run past that. More slideshows, we'll just tap to continue. And another dialogue choice. So we'll just collect, uh, select the correct one and continue with that. Yeah, so once you've gone through all of that, you will actually have to uh, move the avatar around in the 3D world. So there'll be a movement tutorial, like at the start of each gamelet to remind you like what the controls are. So in this case, the controls are uh, controlling the camera and moving around with W A S D. So as you can see, as you are move, you can actually control the character and navigate throughout. So for this particular part, the objective was to find locker number 30. So we'll just go ahead and face locker number 30, which is ahead and walk towards it. So when we go to locker number 30, we'll see that now we are inside uh, one of the many mini games that you'll be playing inside this gamelet. So how this particular mini game works is it's called a sticker gamelet. So what you do is, um, sorry, sticker mini game. What you do is there'll be a, a bunch of stickers on the right side and you can click to drag them onto the image. So I'll go ahead and do that. You take this and you drag it on to locker number 30 and it will snap when it's in the correct position. And then once you're satisfied with the position, you just press submit and you'll continue. So again, more slideshows. And yeah, that's a quick demo of yeah. dialogue choices and mini games. Yeah. Is there any other, any other features you want to show, that, Ryan? Not really. That covered. Yeah, they're almost there, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's usually made of comics and dialogues where you add a tap or when you have a mini game, you do an action of dragging and dropping or just clicking on the you know, options. So it's very simple mini games. Uh, it's fun to play. And uh, please give us your feedback uh, after playing all the three games. Yeah. So yeah, just can you can you come out? And, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll stop sharing. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, we are fine there. Okay. So after you finish uh, playing the games, all the three games, just let me just find it share my screen okay can you see my screen yeah so this is the evaluation form i will be sending you the link uh, to all this uh, to this form to all of you so you need after you finish playing all the three games you come to this form and you enter your email address and you start answering these simple questions and try to answer, uh, give the, give a honest answer. Please don't say uh, neutral for everything because that won't help us <laughs> in the evaluation. We need a uh, proper, because I, I need to sub submit this to SSG and we need to show that, you know, this, this game has made a difference. So please help us with that um, evaluation. Um, yeah. With the proper feedback. Yeah. At the end, you, you will have one last uh, question, which is open-ended, where you can type and give all your feedback on whatever you have, like you have issues with the text, or you found some uh, errors in the text, or you know something was wrong, something is missing, or you felt something is totally different from what you have been doing or whatever. So please give all those feedback in this short answer. And we will... Um, Compile all that and then we'll discuss with Dr. Juliana and we'll see how to 
incorporate or how, how do we go about that? Uh, how do we take action on those feedback? Yeah. So uh, we, we will need 10 users, uh, minimum 10 users. We can have more, more than 10. We need minimum 10 users to evaluate this game. And this is the link for uh, evaluation. So apart from this, um, okay, let me go through the user guide. I think that's important. <clears throat> to stop and share my screen again. Okay, sorry. Okay. okay, can you see my screen? Okay. So this is the user guide. I'll also be sharing this uh, PDF with all of you. Um, so this is the minimum system requirement for this uh, to play 3D hack games. So because uh, these are 3D games, um, we need a slightly, uh, I mean, it's not, not a, I think most of our laptops and desktop have this uh, minimum requirement nowadays. So this is the minimum system requirement for Windows and Mac. So please make sure that you have uh, uh, this um, configuration in your system. Yeah. So for the clients, uh, for the Windows client, we have a separate installer. So I'll share this link as well in the email. It will also be in the, uh, in the guide. So once you, um, you have to download the zip file, once you download, you will get to see this uh, folder where you have um, uh, the Mobi app, the 3 dhabmobi So this is the exe file. So you double click on this and um, you get to see. Okay, since uh, it's, um, I mean, we have been upgrading our software. Uh, we, are, we are yet to certify it. Once we certify, you will not get this uh, Windows uh, protect your PC kind of this alert message will not pop up. So since it's not certified, it is, but don't worry, it is all safe. <laughs> yeah. So set, always, um, once you run the application, please select your highest available uh, screen size uh, because I, it differs from individual each um, laptop it differs so please select your highest uh, uh, screen size and always the graphics quality please select the fastest and yeah and then click on play so once you click on play you will come to this um, login screen i'll be e emailing individually your credentials so please use the that credential to log in so use your user credential so it will be something at hazmat and your password click login and login will okay this is the mac so i don't want to go it's the same step basically it's almost the same step for mac as well so if someone needs mac uh, please let me know uh, because i'm assuming most of it, most of the users are windows if you need mac we will also share the mac client with you all. Yeah. so this is the mac installation so once you are authenticated with your credentials you will come to this screen so this is the main game screen so this is the the game here um, the access given to you is the hazmat game series so once you tap on the game series you will get into this gamelet page so where you'll see all the gamelets available so like i mentioned uh, we have seven gamelets as of now uh, only three games are available for you all to evaluate so based on the your feedback we will take that feedback and which will help us to develop the, the future four games so what happens here is you tap on the game leg so if you have not downloaded before it will ask you to download so tap on the download the download will take some time and the first time it takes a while for you to download and again at this point in the time you you definitely need a, a internet connection so to download, download goes in like kind of three phases. It will download the game, it will download the assets, it will set up the assets and all that. The first time you download, it takes a little longer. So once you download and then you play, you don't need internet connection while you're playing the game. Only during download, you, you need internet connection. So yeah, that's how uh, we have uh, uh, architect, architected this particular software. So you play any, you download when you have internet and you can play anytime and anywhere. 
once the game is fully downloaded, you will see a play button. During, uh, uh, we will not try, we will not update any of the games. Just in case we update any game, what you will get to see is an update button over this. So whenever you see an update, that means we have updated the game with some changes. So if, if you wish to, you can update the game and you can play, play the game again as well. So click on play. So the play will take you to the loading screen. So these, these are some of the screens uh, from this uh, hazmat itself. So always when you have a comic, you try to click, we say tap because this game is available on mobile device as well. As of now, we have not released the mobile version of the game. We are only uh, on Windows and Mac and we are testing it on the web version. So that will be available soon as well. So always clear, like uh, I think Ryan Minch demonstrated, always tap whenever you see, uh, sorry, always click uh, whenever you see any comics or any, any kind of a slide. Yeah. So this is a simple thing. Then you can use your WASD to navigate. You can also use your uh, up, down and left, right arrow keys if you're not comfortable with WASD and your mouse to sway around. Yeah, so it's very simple to play. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you've been playing games, I think you should not have a difficulty. Yeah. And whenever uh, you want to quit, you can press escape to quit the game. But we recommend you play the game till the end, until you finish the game, until you will see a game completed screen. So that is when the game data goes to our database and all the actions taken during your gameplay will be recorded at the back end. Let me show you what is recorded at the back end. So just a minute. Can you see my screen? I need to stop and share it. This is the microsite or the dashboard for Hazmat Games. So it is still under development as of now. So the, what we do, uh, generally this access is given to the trainer uh, or the, you know, the game administrator who will track all the um, performances of various users. So this is the dashboard. You can also log in, uh, we, you can use the same credentials uh, to log in uh, the credentials you're using for the game. You can use the same login credentials to log into this microsite. I'll give you the link to the microsite as well. So all you will see is you'll only see a scoreboard. So as of now, there's nothing in the scoreboard because I have not played the game as uh, this particular user. So that's why you see all the zeros. So once you play all the three games and you log into this particular uh, uh, microsite, you will see uh, the scoreboard and the leaderboard. Uh, but as now, currently I've um, logged in as an admin, so I get to see the dashboard. So these are some of the test data, which is available here. So once you all uh, finish playing the game, I will see uh, your individual um, user data. So this is again, very important for my submission. So I, because I need to know when your, everything will be tracked when you played the game, what time you played the game, how long you were in the, inside the game, how many attempts you took to play each mini game, every, every action taken in during your gameplay will be recorded at the back end. Yeah, so just, just hold on, it's a bit slow. I'm just going to uh, the detail page to show you. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty slow. Okay, so this is how we will we have uh, captured the data. So you'll see all the mini games. So what mini game? Uh, you know whether you were successful. When you're successful, you'll see a green, green thumbs up. If not, you'll see a red, which is wrong. And then you, sh the, you we showed the answer. You know, the, after two attempts, you can we'll sh uh, the answer will be shown in a mini game. That's what this representation is. So this is just a mini game action. So this is all about the mini game data. So there are MCQs, there are hidden objects. So these are the actual uh, mini games. So currently uh, we don't have, uh, we have not named it properly. Moving forward, all the mini games will have a proper naming 
so you know so the uh, administrators who are, or your trainers will know what mini game and what was uh, what is the action taken by the user so that is the uh, data that is captured here so yeah that's important and also here we will have the start date end date and you know sorry the start time and the end time when you play this particular game so this is the um, the macro site yeah so we have access to you as a user and to the administrator I, I probably i will give it to dr juliana to go and track all the uh, user details yeah so that's the macro site and yeah i think we have kind of covered <laughs> everything yes um, yeah so i will be uh, after this call i will create uh, user accounts i've created already for some of them so um, I think, Doctor, we have all uh, ten users already, or nine? Is it? We can't hear you. Sorry, yes. Um, it, uh, I am waiting for two people in particular, okay. and uh, that, that I think they're not available today. But we'll just email them the instructions. Uh, yeah. But uh, there was a question about the time limit. Can Can we take off the time limit for the evaluation? Okay, there will be about, uh, we'll give about two weeks usually. Oh, no, I mean in the mini game, like yesterday we had this 59 minute thing. Oh, oh okay, okay. You, wanted, you want that to be removed, is it? Uh, do you need to track that for the evaluation? Because like me yesterday, I went back and forth, is it? No, I think for evaluation, we will try to remove or... Uh, Daniel, have you extended the time? Daniel, where are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh... I leave it at 30 minutes now because I thought this was just a playthrough. 30 minutes for three games? Oh, no, no, no. 30 no, minutes for my game. Mm. Yours the is one very long. Game three. But, um, the Ryan one is probably like uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But um, for the time timer, is it for each game lag or the whole uh, log in to log out? No, no, it's just for each game lag. The one you saw yesterday, was just implemented only in game three that is de developed by Daniel. Yeah. The one developed by Ryan that is game two has no timer at the moment. But this timer which I showed you in the microsite is by default. So whenever you get into any game, it will not throw you out or anything. It will just, you will you'll, uh, get to know from the back end how long the user spent uh, time on a particular game like. Okay. So, but for evaluation purposes, right, if they if they don't finish within the time limit or if they want to redo, can they do it? Yes, yes, you can do it. No problem. The time is not okay. a problem. Yeah, All right. you can do it. You can play how many other times you like. That's not, a, not an issue. Zuhari, does that answer your question? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So yep. you can do many times and get more ideas and give me more, more feedback. Question. <laughs> is there a reading material or video to watch before you play the games? Sorry? Okay, you, <laughs> I, think the, he, uh, I think there's another... Uh, Zuhari asked something. Zuhari, you were saying something? And the same question. Uh, any reading material or video to watch before you play the games? No. It's in your head already, right? You've attended the course before. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, it is only assessment, uh, not the course. This one, no, no. This one is not a research course, ah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the course opens next year, still have to attend. Okay, okay. <laughs> but um, no, I think we just we want to use this to let people refresh outside the yearly course, right? Yeah. So um, uh, but this is an evaluation. It's not to test you. So if you if you do get the wrong answer, it's even better. Then you can play through and see whether the the wrong answers make sense. Because I'm, I may be blinded to some things, you see. So give me your opinions. So like Marcus, if you, if you haven't attended the course before, it, I think it's not a big issue because you're at the administrator, uh, your, yours is the administrator perspective. Yeah, I, I, I hope you can give some feedback from that, that, that aspect. Yeah. Yeah, then, then uh, don't do it on the hospital computer, okay? No, on your devices. Thank you. Yeah, as of now, it's only on the Windows and Mac uh, laptops. Uh, eventually, we will have the web version of the game and also the mobile device, mobile version of the game. So very soon, we'll have the Android version. And the, the last one would be the iOS because the approvals are very late. 
for iOS. But Susie, can you? I think quite a few of us are Mac, including the uh, the two people who are not in today. So oh. can we? Uh, can you just email us both? Sure, I'll say, I think I'll combine and I'll send both. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I'll also be sending a attendance sheet uh, later on. So that is also required. Um, so please help me to fill up that. It's just a small Excel sheet. But there are details like IC number. So don't give your full IC number, just the last four digit and your department and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so this, this particular um, uh, um, demo or the training today is considered like a pre-training session. So we'll have one uh, attendance for this. And then the, later on, we will capture data on when you played the game. So that will become like an actual training uh, session. Yeah. So please help me with the attendance sheet, which I'll send you after this call. Uh, Doctor, you need to also provide me with the email addresses. Yeah. So maybe you can just WhatsApp so, so that I can send uh, credentials. Maybe this weekend you all can enjoy playing our games <laughs> if you're free. So two yeah. weeks, right? Two weeks from today. Yeah. So... I think today is, yeah, probably by 18th, uh, okay. if, if everyone, all the 10 users could complete, that will give me time to generate my reports. Yeah. Mm. yeah Were there any question? Yes. Uh, could, could you all please uh, turn on your videos, Ryan? Could you turn on your videos? I need, because I'll be taking screenshots later on. So uh, where can we start now playing the game? Yeah, once I give you the credentials and user guide, you can start playing the game. Okay. The, we are doing some, uh, yeah, it should be available today, latest, today, latest by today. Yeah. We have another person, Mr. Uh, his video cannot make it. Uh. Oh, okay. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I, I basically, I think I'll take a screenshot later on as well. I'll take one now. I need I needed all this for my submissions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you're kind of done. Uh, have I missed anything? Can this run? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Juliana. I think we are done. Thanks, We're thanks. almost there. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us, and thanks for supporting us so, to evaluate these games. And uh, hope to see some good feedback. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thanks. Um, I'll send you all email tonight. By tonight, sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.